Today I'd like to take you through my top five tips on flattening the curve. No, not the curve that we're all familiar about in recent months. This time I'm talking about the curve associated to your sales profile. A recent Data Essentials poll has asked customers which practices are they going to maintain when returning to restaurants after restrictions have opened. And 35% of them have said that they are going to avoid peak busy times at restaurants. So here's tip number one. Incentivize your customers to visit you during those quieter moments of your day. This could be a retail solution, or it could be around supporting your loyal customers. What do they want? But be mindful of waste. Don't force yourself to stay open if it doesn't work. Have a pre-order system if necessary, and think meal kits. Maybe through the addition of having drink lines added in, extra beverages, or a snack for the afternoon. I was speaking to a Canadian entrepreneur a few weeks ago, and he's thinking about how he can support restaurants by building a platform to rent out their space during the off-peak periods to people wanting a safer, less crowded spot to work away from home, but perhaps not as close as they used to be in those Starbucks, those third places. So tip number three is how can you create your own third place? Ensure you have Wi-Fi in place where you where have you been if you haven't quite honestly, um, but also you'll need to have clearly defined spots with power. Um, but you'll need people there to work in solitude, so they'll want to make sure they're not disrupted and they can have a telephone call without being disrupted. But you can also then think of the opportunity to charge those individuals through extra drinks they might have during their time there, or through additional snacks. Tip number four, communicate all of this through your own digital channels. Build that voice and dialogue with your consumers. Tell them why you're doing this, uh, why it's safe for them to eat with you and your restaurant, and the incentives that you're going to place to encourage them to visit you during the quieter day parts. In April, Placer.ai and QSR magazine studied Dunkin' Donuts and they found that 9.2% of their visitors came between the hours of 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. That number stayed stable all the way through to about 3 p.m. So while the morning key peak period was majorly down, this quieter period was actually a lot higher than before the pandemic. Their CEO, David Hoffman, believes that the company's ability to speak to their customers, to create a dialogue through promotions both locally and nationally, inspired this growth in day part business. Tip number five, continue to add retail components from your suppliers to your offer. Like many restaurants that have acted as a grocer for their suppliers through the pandemic, there's no reason why this doesn't necessarily continue to be an option for you. Of course, it depends on your location, the niche level of your ingredient set, and uh, whether your consumers will continue to look to you to potentially come for groceries of some kind. But the mask-wearing missions that many undertake now when they visit a grocery store, they're actually trying to accomplish this in as few visits as possible. So if they can get lunch, dinner, and tomorrow's milk for the cereal for breakfast from you, they'll love you even more. And actually, there's more people visiting during these off-peak periods now to grocers than ever before either. So therefore, you're accomplishing targeting traffic to come to your store in those quieter times when your kitchen perhaps is less busy. Right, that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. As always, I appreciate everyone that has been leaving comments. We've had over 10,000 views in some of the posts that we've been making. So I really appreciate the fact that a number of you are listening and commenting and giving us your views as to whether this is helpful or not. The day part challenge absolutely is critical. And in this post-pandemic world, it's something that everyone's going to need to think about, not just for their on-premise business, but also for their off-premise business. 
Hope today has been helpful. Leave your comments below, share the videos to your colleagues, and I appreciate it again for your brief moment with me here today. Please let me know what thoughts and ideas you have to add to my top five tips that I've raised here today. Please put your comments below, subscribe on the website at deliverthedish.com, and thanks for watching.